another day, another trig. We're still on the 80 kilometer uh, D-Day challenge. And um, a bit different. We're in Staffordshire, south of Staffordshire. Similar trig hunt, uh, obviously not peaks, but Staffordshire and uh, southern Staffordshire. Today, we start off at Seven Springs. I've tried to do this about five or six times and uh, the dog's interrupting me. So here's the start. Let's hope it's a nice one. First day I've walked with some sun. Let's get it on. <sighs> Didn't it make you angry? I mean, people obviously adore coming out. Because of this beauty. But then, dump the bags. You know what, even uh, more annoying than that, is I've just seen two bags in the car park. Got as far as your car with your bag. Didn't want to take it home though, did you? Such pretense. Anyway, let's make it positive. Canuck Chase, that's what we are. Well, I must say, oh, it's a big up. It's amazing, amazing how memory fades with time. You know, I've been whinging about the heat, not having any. Look at me now, I'm dripping. <laughs> Can't win, can you? Anyway. Multitude of paths to take. I've got me OS. Oh, they're beautiful, eh? I've got me OS, so let's take the path. I'll tell you something. I'm glad I got the app. I've been here before, but just like ins and outs, never done a route. And today and tomorrow. I'll be doing a route. So, uh, yeah. OS Maps is worth its weight in gold. So, oh, can't do that, can I? Can't see me. There you go. Why would you want to see me? Let's do that again. <laughs> Canic Chase. Still need me haircut. Still need to show me. Uh, World War One. There was a um, POW camp on Cannock Chase. In World War Two, there was a POW camp uh, near Cannock Chase or on the surrounding areas. Uh, so it has a connection to the World Wars. So I've got sweat dripping in my eyes. And uh, sadly, there's some nefarious connections as well. I'm not going to name the guy's name because it doesn't deserve to be named. In the 1960s, uh, three very young children, pre-teens, were abducted. And should we just say that uh, the outcome was they were murdered and dumped on Cannock Chase, or actually murdered here and dumped. Not here where I'm standing. I, I'm not going to find out whereabouts, because uh, I'm not glorifying it. It's disgusting. But... Uh, it's a place of outstanding natural beauty. I don't know if it's listed as such, but I think it is. But uh, it's got some uh, dark history. And uh, one other thing is uh, 22 Squadron SES do night exercises here as well. Escape and evasion. So I don't come here at night. <laughs> Unless you want to be captured and interrogated. Onwards. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious pass, aren't they? I mean, how could you take a wrong turn? How could you take a wrong turn? Well, Believe it or not, I've taken three so far. 
You look on the map where you're going to go, start off walking, check five minutes later, find you go the wrong way. But it's a wonderful day, so you can't really complain, can you? Let's try and get out of that light. Find that light. Oh, it's scruffy, aren't you? By this point in time, 66% have gone. So, can you tell me? Just make a comment about them. Just a random comment somewhere. They'll know you're one of the 33%. It's nice to know who's uh, actually watching. Although the ones I comment on, I watch from beginning to end. But it is beautiful, isn't it? It's a different walk. Uh, I picked it for a reason. Apart from the fact it's got two trigs, you know, they're not on any trig list that I'm doing at the moment, but they're Staffordshire, so Staffordshire trigs. But, see, look, I like it again. Anyway, let's get on a bit. Do some more walking, eh? Oh, I can't do that, I'll trip over me on feet. And you randomly, oh, yeah. God, look at the size of them. Oh, they've been there a few years, haven't they? You randomly pop out from the, the forest and, oh, they're forestry, forestry England. Lovely jubbly. You only come out to a nice little pond. I'm not expect to see that here. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. What's that? A bird. It's probably a crow or something, but not been a twitcher. I don't know. But not benched out in my shorts today. I thought forested area fix. Am I regretting it? Yeah, probably a bit. Well, I've always been plagued with such bad weather that I just automatically go for me hiking trousers. Ooh. See, I can't multitask. But yeah. Not really seen anyone at all. Oh, ah, it's a fine magic. Exit uh, forest, chase, whatever. First time. I mean, isn't that beautiful? So many of these uh, insect in paths that it's quite easy to be thrown off. Dope. Yeah. This way. Me thinks. Could be wrong. That's another thing I didn't expect. I don't know why I shouldn't expect it. But, uh, yeah, give a little stream. Do you know, I live within mm, 25 minutes drive, 20 minutes of here and it's probably been 30 years since I walked on the periphery at all I'm not mad madness 
One step beyond. <laughs> it's a beautiful bridge, but culvert. We can call that culvert. But it is. It's a bit on the small side, eh? Still, it's a lovely day for it. We go that way. Right in the middle there, up over there, and way back beyond. But that way lies this way. Oh, it's quite a big place, really. Well, Glacial Boulder is there, obscured by people who are lost. Uh, that's Matt reading, they have as much fun as me. And one of four trigs on Kamek Chase. One nine four. Glacial Boulder, trig point, Calic Chase, 194. Bit low, isn't it? Anyway, a trig, a trig is a trig. So there you go. I've got out towards the uh, top end of the the circular. I couldn't tell you what the name of that road is, so I really haven't got a clue where I am. I mean, I know where I am on the map, but I haven't got a clue. And uh, the question is now, do I stop, have a rest, and have something to eat, or do I push on? I'm, uh, I'm tempted to push on. I've had my meds, and I'm just worried that if I stop, I'll seize up, so uh, I think I'll push on. Anyway, what do we reckon? Stay or go? As in this. I quite like it, but Amanda says it makes me look old. Uh, I know I'm old anyway, but what's consensus out there? I'd be interested to know. I mean, beards are in, aren't they? But old grey beards? Not too sure. Let us know what you think, anyway. I'll uh, throw this sack on. Sack. Knapsack. Knapsack. There's going back a bit, eh? Day back. Day back. Oh, God, I'm tired. Day pack. Rock sack. And let's get on with it, eh? Oh, well. It's a nice day. It's my first nice hiking day this year that I've had. I mean, there's been quite a few nice days, but it's the first one I've had the opportunity to uh, to um, carp the M, if you know what I mean. So, there isn't a great deal to film. I mean, once you've... Well, I mean, the trees are beautiful, don't get me wrong. Without that, this heat would be otter. <laughs> but... Uh, Randomly, not a great deal in the way of variety to film, but it's beautiful to walk through. You know what? That's not happened to me for a long time. But the thing is, I was looking at my map and not paying attention to my feet. Oh, I tripped over that. Ooh. Tripped over that. I mean, you go around the mud, right? around the mud, fair enough, uh, everywhere. 
You didn't expect to come across that, did you? Well, I didn't expect to. I'll tell you, when I went down, I went down smack on my knee, I thought. That's it. I broke something. Then you do that gently, move around. Feel if you're still alive type feeling. Well, you know what I mean. Feel if you haven't broken anything. Especially when you get to be an old bugger. Oh, I went down like a sack of spuds. Never mind. All in the fun. Don't expect to go down like a sack of spuds here, though. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's not so well, isn't it? This here is the furthest bit on my circle. If you can have a furthest bit on your circle, the furthest bit on the circle would be halfway round. It's more of a uh, oblate spheroid, really. Oh, you can see that from the M6. I'm sure that's uh, by green. The telecoms tower. Let me just check on that. Yeah, by green. Uh, you can see the telecom tower from of Canuck from Canuck uh, from the M6. So that's the knock as they say locally, or Canuck. The furthest point, and um, we're going back. A bit sore after the tumble. Oh, after lines. Should well have Botox. If you did. Couldn't raise your eyebrows on it, could you? In fact, you wouldn't be able to say, you'd be like Cyan Cow, wouldn't you? Anyway, irregardless. God, I'm tired. Let's get on. Well, let's just... I mean, it's the first nice day I've had. Not really hills, hills. I mean, there's been a few ups. Broken a sweat a few times, I can tell you. There's been a... I mean, this is a better path, this one. Uh, quite a bit has been like loose pebbles quite hard to walk on this isn't too bad anyway very nice day out and I haven't had to drive hour and three quarters two hours each way to get here so pretty bonus there's two tricks on this route and uh, there'll be another route on Canuck Chase. There's another two tricks. I'll talk about that a bit later. That's our way across there. But this, I mean, we come from up yonder. But this down here. It's the heart of England way. Where does it go from and to, I hear you ask? That's a very good question. The answer to that is the heart of England. Or, oh, I don't know. If I remember by the end, I'll look it up. But uh, yeah, heart of England way. Just a beautiful day. It certainly is. So, now from over there, and then this little gem appears. I mean, birdie, it's middle of nowhere. Look at that litter, disgusting. Just a pond. Strange. Quirky, rather than strange, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Very nice. 
Never mind the low 30s in the battery. Didn't think I'd get enough battery to get a second trig. Another Canuck Chase trig. I don't know this one's got a specific name, but this height is 199 metres. Oh. Starting to catch up with me now. Oh. One nine nine meters. Oh, zooms out. Oh, here's me oh so tired face. A Canop Park Trig, one nine nine meters. Oh. There we go. What little juice I've got left on the uh, phone. Oh, I've got the power pack as well. Uh, for some reason my phone didn't charge last night, so I thought the power pack was charged. And though it did say it was charged, uh, drain today. So not a lot of juice left, not a lot of uh, filming on the way back, but uh, the trig, that was it, that's all I needed. But yeah, it's just this, going back now, one long track, and then I'm back at Seven Springs, as in number seven, not Severin, Seven Springs, where the car is. So. Uh, just in case I need the phone to, uh, I don't know, for anything, I'll uh, catch up with you in the car. It's been a nice one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not till I see it in a mirror or a phone that I realise how long it's got. Yeah, so he's cut. I need a shave, scruff. 9.83 miles, Calic Chase. Uh, what is that? Some of that eye. Calic Chase, two trigs. There are four trigs on Calic Chase, and that was two of them. I was lucky I got the second one actually. Um, I mean, it was on a route, but I sort of stumbled across it. I was uh, that concerned about uh, the depleting battery. I mean, I thought I was charged up. You know, P, 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 as the saying goes, but um, now I've got the uh, power pack on charge again, uh, see if I'm making too much, if I'm making too much I won't come out tomorrow, but if I'm not, then I'll come out again, because um, uh, man is away tomorrow, so I've got an opportunity to do a longer hike, probably do when I did another 10, but, but yeah, that's tomorrow. So this was Canic Chase, two trigs. It was, uh, yeah, it was a really nice hike. I enjoyed it. Um, a lot different to what I'm used to. There wasn't massive amount of sights. There was a lot of beautiful trees, flowers, you know. Uh, but there was wasn't a great deal of vistas, and uh, I think I've been sport with vistas really. Uh, the paths were pebbly, and I'm used to peat bog paths, so, uh, you know, again, I've been spoiled, but um, I really enjoyed it, it was it was a nice different one, and uh, I've got another one to do on Canada Chase, because I want to take off the other two trigs that are there, so, uh, yeah. Canic Chase does hold its demons, as I said at the beginning, and uh, I saw 
maybe about a dozen um, bikers, not, you know, I was going to say BMX, not BMX, cross country, cycling y bikers. Um, there's probably about a dozen people walking as well, but I was going to say, you know, these aren't proper walkers. Uh, which is an insult, really, isn't it? We're all proper walkers. But, you know, you see someone out in the hills and you greet them. You have a natter. Half these people here today, uh, sort of, uh, most got at them was a nod. A couple have said a low back. But nobody wanted to engage in conversation. It was the old uh, minimise eye contact and uh, on you go. But each to their own. You know, there's a, there's a bit more, a bit more of a je ne sais quoi up in the, the peaks and... Probably the lakes as well in other places, but uh, Gallup Chase, no, not really. Uh, I think it's a place where, you know, people can talk their dogs and do a, a mile. Um, or trail bikes, that's it, isn't it? But there wasn't a, a lot of people like hiking, if you know what I mean. The rubbish. Um, all the rubbish I saw was within a couple of hundred yards of the car park. Oh, the dog poo bags, a couple of hundred yards of the car park. Got out there proper on the trails and uh, there was nothing. Uh, but it's right maze. I mean, I've never walked this far on Canada Chess before and it's right maze, a maze of crisscrossing paths. You can get lost quite easily out here. Anyway, 9.83 miles. Really enjoyed it. Tired, sore knee, sore eye for some reason. Don't know what's up with that. Apparently, I've got another eye infection. Because so I've got to finish this um, 80k by the end of the month, uh, which is 50.03 miles, I think. But um, yeah, I'll do that. Even if I do get the eye infection, I'll just dump myself up with tablets and get out there. But um, have you got this far? Only 33% will. I want to thank you very much for uh, supporting me on this challenge and supporting the channel. Um, the uh, link to the uh, charity uh, will be on Chris Bentley Walking and Rambling uh, Facebook page. Uh, if you feel that you can give something, then please do. Don't, but please don't feel obliged. Uh, you know, things are tight these days. Uh, you got to look after family. Family comes first, second, and third in my books. So, but if you can spoke up the quid, I really would appreciate it. I have hit my target though, uh, and beyond. So, thank you very, very much to everybody that supported me. And uh, remember, out there, live your best life. Take care, everyone. Ciao.